Hi YouTube, this is Philibert. I'm an educator from Singapore. I teach maths in the secondary school. Uh, I'm doing this because my students have given me feedback that uh, they would appreciate some uh, something they can use at home to revise and something that they can replay uh, at their own will. So this is me trying to meet that need. So what I'm going to cover the, over the next few weeks or so uh, uh, are the math syllabus from the Singapore GCE O levels, the Singapore GCE N levels and the GCE N T levels uh, maths. So this is my first video. Please uh, let me know what you think and let me know how I can help my students better, how I can help you better. So we start off today with differentiation. Uh, differentiation is a topic under the AMAT syllabus. So this is for uh, SEC4 students who are actually doing uh, AMATs right now and need some help for AMATs. So this is it. So here we go. So what do you know, what do you need to know about differentiation? Uh, first of all, you, know, you need to know what differentiation is. Uh, and then we start off by looking at how do you differentiate a constant. Uh, what the power rule is, the sum rule, the difference rule, the product rule, the chain rule, and quotient rule, what all these means. But basically, you, you do not need to be too hung up about these rules. Um, you, are, you need to know how these rules work, but no one is going to ask you by the power rule do this or no, by the sum rule do that. You, you basically, it, it will become second nature to you, so hopefully uh, in time it will become natural to you and you do not need to, to, learn, to know these terms uh, too strictly okay so next what is differentiation differentiation is basically in the concept uh, that tells us how a factor how a, a variable uh, changes with an independent variable so for example what we have learned so far um, if I could just bring up my pen tool um, hang on excuse me so what we have learned so far is if let's say we have a linear function that goes something like that. This is this the y-axis and um, okay, hang on. It's my x-axis. Remember to label your uh, axis. And if let's say we have a line that goes something like that, that we have this line y equals to x. All right, and then you know that in 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 um. A linear form, uh, a linear graph has a, a general form of y equals to mx plus c, where c is the intercept and m is the slope of the curve. So as you can see here, y equals to x, uh, we assume that the, there's a coefficient of 1 here, therefore the m equals to 1 in this case and the intercept is 0 in this case. So how does this uh, tell us uh, how does this link to differentiation? So if you can see x as x changes, alright, as x changes, y changes. As x moves from left to right, from, a, from 0 to a positive number, you see that the value of y increases. Now, this makes sense because according to our uh, graph, to, sorry, to uh, the, the equation of the graph here, you see that y equals to x. And as x increases, uh, in positive numbers, y will increase. Now conversely, as x decreases from here, y decreases as well. Alright, so as we can see, as what x changes by a unit, so when x increases by 1, when x increases by 1, y increases by 1. Okay, so we can see that this is uh, the change and this is actually we actually know this from our gradient of the curve where x equals to 1 uh, y equals to 1 and so on and so forth the gradient is 1 now if we change the gradient to 2 we see that when uh, y equals to 2x we see that when x uh, for every change in x y increases by 2 units so we see how the change in x affects the changes the uh, change in y so differentiation basically uh, at, at, the, at the most basic looks at how um, changes in a variable mainly x will affect y okay so we start off with a linear curve uh, we can we, we will go on to more complicated things like a quadratic curve okay so something like this um, excuse me a quadratic curve where you know you, y equals to x squared 
how does y change when x varies and uh, furthermore we can actually go uh, into more complicated curves like for example um, cubic curves and so on and so forth excuse me excuse me now, this is as i said in my at the start of my video this is my first time so please go easy on me and my i'll try to improve my handwriting um, uh, as we go on okay so as we as we can see y changes as x changes in both these curves in all of these curves in fact so we we would like to use differentiation to understand how does the y change when x change so moving on so if there is a constant that means to say graphically we are looking at uh, the following diagram for example if y equals uh, 3 for example when y equals to 3 okay th where 3 is the constant so when y equals to 3 uh, you we usually represent it um, on graphically with a straight line like that yeah? y equals to 3 now notice that when y equals to 3 uh, as x changes the y value doesn't change that means that y is independent of uh, x so when we look at this this way we say that because when when there's a constant uh, y uh, doesn't be affected by x okay so that's why that's where we, our start point is the next thing that we need to know is uh, the mathematical um, notation of differentiation. Now, differentiation can be written both ways. If you have an expression y equals to x squared plus x, for example, if you want to differentiate this expression, um, we do this dy over dx. Okay, so this is the first way of representing uh, differentiation in mathematical uh, annotations. What does this mean? You differentiate y with respect to x. Okay, I say again, this one, differentiate y with respect to x. Okay, so another way, if let's say you have a expression, uh, same expression, x squared plus x, this is not an equation. Another way of uh, representing differentiation is d dx, x squared plus x. Now, these two things, uh, mean the same okay the only difference is that dy dx uh, we use it when there's expression y equals to x squared plus x okay and then you differentiate y with respect to x however in this case there's not expression this is x squared plus x is not an equation okay so we differentiate uh, d dx differentiate with respect to x x squared okay so in this case we start off with uh, the differentiation of a constant so in this case, y equals to 3. Notice that this is the equation. So when we differentiate y with respect to x, this is basically looking at over here, differentiate y. How does y change in relation to x? Now, we notice here that uh, as x changes, y does not change. Okay, so y is independent of x. So similarly, when you differentiate this, how does x, y change with respect to a change in x? The answer is 0. Okay, and this is the first rule of differentiation. If there's a constant over here, alright, for example, 3 is a constant, 4 is a constant, any number is a constant, okay, uh, there's no x term to it. For, so, um, when you differentiate it, uh, dy dx or differential of that uh, would be 0. Uh, that's the first rule, okay. So, why is that so? Because if you look at uh, the graph over here, y equals to 3, uh, y does not change when x change. So, what next? This is the power rule, okay? So, for example, what I mean by power, we learn from indices that x to the power of n, okay, where n is your power. So, if let's say y, you have equation of y equals to x power n. When you differentiate y to with respect to x, it's a very easy rule. It's the most basic rule. The first thing, the first thing you should do is bring down the power. So, you multiply it by x, okay? And then you take off 1 from the power. Alright, so this is the general form. Uh, example, if y equals to x squared, as always, dy dx equals to bring down 2x, 2 minus 1. 
okay equals to 1 okay and 2x over here all right now this step you can skip it once uh, you are familiar with it okay now next one for example one more practice if y equals to x power 3 all right dy over dx equals to 3x 3 minus 1 equals to 2 you get 3x squared okay now one more uh, example slightly different if you have a negative uh, power for example x minus 2 okay dy over dx equals to minus 2 x all right you bring the power down minus 2 is the power the power the, the power is minus 2 you bring it down minus 2 minus 1 equals to minus 3 so therefore you get minus 2x the power of minus 3 okay why uh i think you can try some one on yourself uh this is where the power is a uh, improper fraction so what do you think uh, dy dx is it's quite simple actually you bring down the power x 3 over 2 minus 1 equals to half okay and 3 over 2 x the power half which is can be expressed as 3 over 2 times square root x okay so so far we, what we have learned so far is uh, what's differentiation what is the differential of a um, constant and what is the power rule so next in the next video we'll go on uh, to basically look at what is what are some other rules that we have in uh, differentiation so stay tuned thank you